Keep All together, up. one, two. And this is The Dirty Word, where sex and language get it on. Today, I am joined by three very special guests. <laughs> Hi, I'm Laura. Hi, I'm Victoria Ortiz. And I'm Josie. And in addition to being intimidatingly good looking, these three oh, human God. goddesses happen to have one thing in common. What is that, my friends? Um, lesbians. Yeah. Lesbians in the wild. I am the token straight girl in this equation, slash most situations in my everyday life. Oh, but true. this situation is special because today, these people are going to be teaching me lesbian slang! Yeah. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking like, why is lesbian slang a thing? What does that even mean? And I will tell you, the reason is the same reason why slang in general is a thing, and that is because slang establishes community and solidifies identity. So whether you're in the lesbian community or the rugby playing <laughs> community, you could be in the um, Lord of the Rings community. watching community. Yes, I'll include myself on that one. <laughs> Whatever community you're in, odds are there is a set of slang terms that help you identify your community and help you like establish and strengthen your sense of self. And like 50 years ago, people who spoke with slang were thought to be like uneducated and weird, but now in the age of the internet, people who slang are thought to be like cool and hip to the trends. Mm. Going to test hip exactly to how they Yeah, and today we're going to see exactly how in the know I am about lesbian slang. So this is how it's going to work. Um, these three human persons are going to go one by one and read a lesbian slang term and I'm going to have to guess what the meaning is. I'm feeling nervous. How are you feeling? <laughs> I feel great. I feel awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. Pretty comfortable in this. But I also feel like, I mean, you are surrounded by a lot of queer women, so... Yeah, I feel like you're gonna be pretty good at this. Yeah. I guess so, but I'm not, like, in it. Like, if it were a pool, I would be, like, dangling my toes in it. Well, you would be swimming in the pool, but you wouldn't be a member. Like, if you were at Equinox, yeah. you would be my guest. Right, right. Um, yeah, I can, I can relate to that, as I am not in the exercise community either. Let's get started. Who should start? Who should start? Uh, I guess I'll just go with a gold star lesbian. Gold star. Um, that's someone who's never f***ed a dude. Correct. Right? Boom. Um, like, ding, 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 ding. Okay, I feel like you might know this one. Pillow princess. That's someone who only gets gone down on. Right. It's right. something who just doesn't do doesn't anything. Do yeah. Okay, oh, damn. That was the one I was going to use. Okay, what's <laughs> a lipstick lesbian? That's like a high femme, like wears makeup. I would say lipstick. it doesn't necessarily have to be somebody who's like, I femme, but just anybody like femme. Um, gabies. <laughs> gabies. Oh, they're like, um, people who like just came out. Oh, There's oh, another shit. word for that. We yeah. looked it up though, because I kind of thought that was it too. It means it is a, a baby from gay parents. Oh. It's their gaby. Okay. Well, moving on, uh, this is going to be a no-brainer, but a baby dyke. Like, oh. A, like oh, a... Oh, maybe not. Oh, dang. Like someone who is like newly embracing their dykiness. Someone who literally like just came out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh okay. yeah. Okay, so lesbian. Huh. That could be a number of things. <laughs> just in terms of like prefixes. <laughs> is it like a lesbian who like loves astrology and like <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, I I do love a lot of zodiac stuff. Yeah. A lot of I lesbians would... do enjoy astrology. <laughs> anyway, no, it's just like a fate, like a famous or like sort of famous. Okay. Yes. But maybe they're just a lesbian like when they go out. Like maybe they're not actually famous. They're just like, everybody knows they turn who they themselves are. back. Yes. Exactly. Maybe they're oh. Instagram famous. Oh. Or like or like famous. Just like among lesbians. <laughs> Should we go a little bit like maybe like uh, on the gross side of things? Oh, finger painting. Oh, dude. Ew. Is that when you like finger someone and then like put your fingers on their skin <laughs> to create an image with their bodily <laughs> fluids? Like, and when on, those bodily second. fluids have Sorry, happened to be in the moon cycle. Okay, so then is... it's like a nice. It's like a little reddish color. <laughs> or what was the other one? Finger stashing. A blood stash. Is that what you stashes. like I'll collect some of the blood with your hands and save it for later for like rituals? No, it's not like a stash of blood. It is a like, you know, <laughs> like, like a mustache. Oh, like S-T-A-C-H-E. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What does it mean to be stoned? 
we found it in this book as stone femme, but I feel like it's most often used as stone butch. But either way, <laughs> the same thing applies with stone. Is stone when you're like so like solid in whether or not you're butch or femme that you're just like, no way would I ever be them. <laughs> Educated guess. Can we just show the cover of this book also? It's called The Lesbian Lexicon, the third edition. We're not throwing any arcane lesbian slang terms at you. This is the most up to date. Anyway, stone is basically the exact opposite of a pillow princess. They don't want any but action. They, they They're just gonna give you the yeah, action. Yeah, they don't reciprocate. That sounds great. Who are these people? <laughs> An ad towards the end with a link. Little <laughs> exactly. Princess Amanda looking for stone. Applying. <laughs> stone stone butch. Oh, 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 I have a good one. What's a stem? What? I know, right? Oh, I heard right. this one in real life. Is it, uh, wow, well, hmm, that, I don't have a lot of syllables to work with here. Is it like um, a lesbian who like really enjoys like nature? <laughs> so just a lesbian. Oh, right. Exactly. <laughs> it's just a lesbian. Well, yeah. I definitely don't know this one. So, stem. Uh, it's a mixture between a stud and a femme. So like yeah. maybe they wear like more butch clothes, but they also wear makeup. Oh, we like have, um, like Hannah Hart. Uh, yeah, but, but Hannah Hart and that. Um, talking about butches, uh, butchkini. Is that like a swimsuit that a butch would be comfortable wearing? Ding, 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 ding. Well, you sports bra and just shorts, and that's kind of what it is. Okay, what's a lug? Hmm, this sounds like an acronym. Is it like a lesbian underground? Actually, I like that. It's like a speakeasy. <laughs> they go underground and talk about purchase like sounds. Okay, okay, it's pretty easy and I feel like you've heard it and you'll be like, oh, that, lesbian until graduation. Oh, lesbian until graduation. I know people that it's happened to. It's like when you go to a college, <laughs> like a liberal arts school, you're just surrounded by so many like, really um, like intellectual, attractive, rich, poetic women. <laughs> you're just like, my high school boyfriend, I'm just gonna be a lesbian, but then you graduate and you're like, JK. You're like, I wanna have a baby and then get married. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. How we talked about you hauling? Oh. That speaks to uh, lesbians moving in really quickly after starting dating. I think I wanna say all of us have at some point okay. the you hauling. You wanna talk about that, Josie? <laughs> What? <laughs> you all has a Twitter, and I know this because when Marriage Equality passed, they tweeted a picture of two pretty butch lesbians standing outside a U-Haul that says, U-Haul celebrates equality. Yeah! They get it. Some social media manager was like, you guys. I feel like we should read some that no, none of us know. That's a good idea. This is one we... We all really thought it was funny. Judy on duty. Yes. This Bring is it. just a quote. Lesbo at work. Judy on duty. Let's do one more okay, one okay. that we can all guess. Pussy fog. Is that like right after you just like went down on someone and you're like delirious and like can't think, right? Pussy fog, I mm -hmm. think would be like when you have like a, just like a purely sex-based relationship with somebody. Do you want to give it a go? No, I like a man's guess. It's a steamy brain residue that is the result of extreme lust, a stoned out mental space where in the details of your last sexual encounter or desired future sexual encounter are played on a compulsive technical or loop that causes such urgent visceral responses. Too long didn't read it. Wait. like, a pre you hauling situation where you have sex one time and you're just like, it's love. <laughs> well, I feel like I learned a lot. Did you guys learn yes. a what lot? What was your favorite yes. term that you learned? I think it would have to be stone. Pillow <laughs> Princess Seeking Stone, a memoir. <laughs> thank you all so much for watching The Dirty Word and thank you all for being here. This was an educational experience. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Let me know what is your favorite lesbian slang term or your favorite slang term in general. Let us know in the comments below. And remember, stay dirty. Thank you.